In today's video, I'm going to show you guys one of the fastest and easiest methods to gain money in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. And I think this method is going to surprise a lot of you guys. So if you enjoy this at any point or if it is helpful, remember to drop a like down on the video and comment down below what's your favorite money making method so far and how much money do you currently have in the game. Other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe for more content and let's get right on into this one. Now guys, I know money has been pretty hard to come across in the new Red Dead Online. It's a struggle for a lot of people and one of the main issues seems to be griefers. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the griefers and people just killing you after you do all this hard work. So before I show you this method and these other methods, I want to tell you guys a quick little tip on how to stop these griefers or how to avoid them. Now I'm sure many of you guys have noticed when you spawn into a location, for example, Let's say you choose West Elizabeth, as I did before I recorded this video. You can see the majority of people are in this location. So say you want to go to Valentine and farm the pigs there, as you guys probably seen in one of my previous videos. Now if you spawn in New Hanover, you'll see a lot of people there, and it's probably a bad idea to spawn at that location, and then try to farm that as a majority of the people are going to be there. You can see there's only one person there right now. So what you want to do is, guys, spawn in a location that you're not going to be at. So before you do this method, which is up here, by the way, you guys are going to have to come up here to do this right here at Granite Pass. It's just so you guys know, all right? So you guys want to spawn into West Elizabeth or something of that sort, something away from this area. There's also a couple other methods you guys can do. If you want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comments. I don't want to make this video all about that, but uh, I will do that if that's what you guys are looking for. So once you guys are here, you'll see this waterfall next to this railroad. You're going to follow this little path along the cliff and you'll come across this little cave right underneath the waterfall. Now this spot is special because, well, it pretty much rains fish here. As you guys can see on the ground here, we got some fish right there. We have some more fish right here and all kinds of fish drop here. You got bluegills, uh, perches, uh, you can get uh, sockeye salmons, all kinds of stuff. So let me actually show you guys. You might actually see some fish fly out while we're here. But while we're waiting for that, basically how this spot works is you literally just chill here and fish will continue to drop out of here. So you just pick them up off the ground. You got bluegills. Now these aren't the best kinds of fish, but I mean, it takes no work at all. You just start picking up fish. You can literally fill up your whole inventory with fish at this location and sell that and come back. And now you can, you can just sit here, relax, watch a series because i know it can be pretty boring to grind stuff me personally that's what i do i'll watch a series on my other monitor i'll check back every five minutes or so pick up whatever fish have dropped then i'll go back to watch it it's a very chill way to get money because i know it can be boring when you do all those other kinds of methods this takes little to no effort from this we got chain pickles we got perches we got bluegills so far um oftentimes we'll see salmon here let me see if some drop for us let's give it a couple minutes now, once you picked up all the current fish on the ground, use your eagle eye to see if there's any more. What you can either do is just sit here and wait, and more will come. Or you could right away come back, and more will come as well. Or you could join a new online session, and more will come. Oh, but as you guys can see, look, it's literally raining fish right now. They're just dropping out of the waterfall onto the ground. All kinds of fish. It's crazy, honestly. We got a rock bass, actually. See, that's another new kind of fish. I haven't got that here yet. Rock bass. What do we got here? Another perch, another perch. So honestly, I don't even know. Maybe you can get every kind of fish here. It looks like there's some even back here. Yeah, so make sure you guys check the back as well. These things drop all over the place. So this is definitely a super cool method. You don't have to do anything, guys. If you're just chilling, you don't really feel like grinding or playing at the moment, but you need money, I definitely recommend coming to this waterfall. You can sit back, work on some other stuff, check back in, grab the fish, and back and forth, guys. It's very, very simple definitely the easiest way so far to grind money now with that being said guys let's move on to the second method that i want to show you guys that takes a little more effort but it's definitely super super rewarding so let me head over to that location i'll show you guys what you need to do to get started with this all right guys now here we are at the second method now the best part about this method is well actually both of these methods it's very hard to get griefed while you're doing this method meaning it's very hard for people to steal what you earned because everything that you earn goes straight into your inventory so people can't take it from you so first we were up here at the waterfall now you guys can either work your way down here fish your way down or just ride down here because at this part this is where we're gonna get sockeye salmon which are worth a lot of money a good amount of money and the best part is you can hold 10 of each fish in your inventory which is a lot now the best spots to catch sockeye salmon on this river are right here right here and i've actually caught some right here but 
here is my favorite spot. I've caught up to eight in this exact spot, but what you guys want to do is, once you get to one of these spots, go ahead and use your eagle eye, and you'll be able to see fish in the river, actually. See over there? That right there is a sockeye salmon. You can tell by the shape. So, you simply cast out your... Oh! Oh, I forgot something very important. You're going to want to get the river lore. You can get this from a general store in any town. It's either going to cost you $2.50, but you have to be level 30 to get it, or you can use one gold bar to buy it, which is very easy to come across. You can either do one treasure hunt and you'll have it, or you can save up using other methods. But either way, it's pretty easy to get. Now go ahead and just cast this bad boy out there. Now if you don't get a bite the first time, don't worry. Try reeling a little faster or a little slower. If you think you're going too fast, try slower. If they still don't bite, just keep switching up your reel speed and make sure you use your eagle eye to see exactly where you need to cast. See, there's a whole bunch of them right there. So actually, let me cast a little farther up here. And then bring the lure past them, and they should bite, guys. So let's go ahead and do this. See, that was a far cast. So let me go ahead and start reeling this. Boom, already got one. Come here, boy! So the trick is not to reel while they're pulling the way because you don't want to snap your line and lose the lure. So as soon as you feel your controller stop shaking, that's when you want to start reeling and pump your rod. So just do down on the analog stick, on the left analog stick, and then let go. And then that's how you pump your fishing rod. Helps reel them in quicker. So this guy, I got this boy right here. As you can see, it's a sockeye salmon. These are beautiful fish, by the way. So let's grab them. Boom. As you can see, these are all my fish. I got a lot of these from the waterfall right before. A couple salmon I got up there. Now, I have nine of them. I can catch one more, and that will be ten. Now, basically what you do, guys, you just keep fishing this area until there's no more fish and keep moving down the river. Now, there's a whole bunch in this area, so let me, let me make this ten in my inventory. Might as well cap it off. And... Also, a quick note is you'll only see the fish with eagle eye if you have your fishing rod out. So if you're using your fishing... Oops, I better reel this in, huh? If you're using your eagle eye without your fishing rod, then you're probably not going to see anything and you're going to be wasting a lot of time. So as you guys can see, I literally cast it out and caught the other one back to back. This is pretty quick. You can catch 10 fish in uh, 5 minutes or so. Not hard at all. So boom, we got 10 salmon. Now let me guys take you down to the second spot where you can catch a second type of fish that is also worth a lot of money. And you can use the same exact lure for it. It's actually in kind of a lake, but the river lure works on it. I don't know why, but it does. So let me head down there and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so we're down at the second location now. Let me show you on the map what I'm talking about. It's going to be right down here at the end of the river you were just fishing on. So by the time you work your way down here and catch 10 salmon, you should arrive at this location right here, guys. Now, at this location, you can catch steelhead trout. And you can use two different, or actually three different times, kinds of lures and baits for this. You can either do the river lure, which actually works in this spot, even though it's kind of like a lake or ocean, whatever this is. Or you can use the lake lure, or you can use, let's see, where is it? Um, I don't have it, but you could use worms as well in this location. So let me keep my river lure. And of course, again, use your eagle eye. You can scout them out. There's actually a whole bunch of different fish in this location. There's trout and largemouth bass, we can, which you can also sell for pretty decent money, but not as good as the trout and salmon. So I see a lot over here. I'm going to cast out and show you guys what these fish look like. You guys can actually see there's fish all over in this location. You can see them jumping around right next to my feet, swimming around. There's definitely plenty of fish in this location. You can actually stay in this spot the whole time. You don't have to move around. That's just how many there are here. So here we go. We got a big one here. I can feel them. So this one is looking like a bass, actually. Yep. So this is the other kind of fish you can get here besides the trout. You'll get a lot of these, but these sell for pretty decent money. So keep them for sure. And look, guys, they're literally swimming right up to me. Actually, if I cast this bad boy right here, oh, that went a lot farther. That went a lot farther than I was hoping for. Let's reel this in. Oh, I got one. Let's hope it's a trout. Looking like, yeah, this is a trout. Here we go. Boom! Right there, guys. The steelhead trout. Did I say stonehead earlier? I mean steelhead. My bad. These are actually also called rainbow trout. It's actually, a beautiful fish in real life. So let me keep that. And what you guys want to do here as well is just fish until you have 10 trouts, 10 bass. And after you do that, guys, there's actually another spot I want to show you. It's actually right up this road from here. So here's the next spot. It's literally right above the river. Let me show you. It's literally right here. All you have to do is go from boom to boom. And you're right here, guys. Now, once you're here, you'll see this pen full of pigs. If you have a cart, you can kill them all and put them in a cart and bring them over. Or if you just have your horse and you don't feel like going through all that hassle, you can simply kill one, throw it on your horse for some extra money, and be on your way. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. 
we go ahead and get one of these bad boys. I would recommend lassoing them. Now, if you look in the bottom right, you'll see stars. Go for one that has three stars, if there is any. So here we go. Big China Pig. We take him. Lasso him up. And just stab him. Once you do that, take the skin, put him on your horse, and then take the carcass and put him on your horse as well. Now, as you guys know, you can fit multiple skins, so if you want to kill multiple pigs and throw multiple skins, but you will only be able to take one carcass unless you have a cart with you. So go ahead and do that. I'm going to just take one for the sake of time. Now, from here, you either want to go to Valentine or Rhodes, depending on where most people are. Obviously, if there's a lot of people in one area, you don't want to go there because you're probably going to get griefed. So it looks like Valentine's actually the better option here, surprisingly. So I'm going to head up there, sell these, and show you guys what you can get in total money-wise. And uh, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. Now, this is everything we have gotten from that one run, guys. All these different types of fish and animals. Now, of course, you can go ahead and do this until you have max of each. You can have 10 of each kind of these in your inventory. Well, besides the pig, of course, unless you use a cart. So let's see what we got here. Largemouth bass. Those goes for $2 each. Bluegill, 75 cents. Sockeye salmon, $4.25. The chain pickles, a dollar. The rock bass, a dollar. You get the animal fat, of course. You get the pork loin. You get the perch, which is the dollar. You get the steelhead trout, which is $4.25. You get the perfect hide, which is $1.75, and you get the pig carcass, which is $5.75. Now, let me do the math and see what how much this would all be if you guys got 10 of each of these fish doing this method. Of course, I didn't do that because I want to, you know, save you guys some time, not watch me catch a whole bunch of fish. So, with all these together, guys, you're looking at between $160 to $200, which is some good, good money. It doesn't take that long, especially if you just do the waterfall method and just sit there and collect fish. You literally don't have to do anything. Some easy, easy money. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A super easy and useful way to gain some money in Red Evolution 2 online. If you did enjoy it, drop a like down the video and comment down below what you thought of this. If there's any other methods you guys know, other than that, guys, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for a brand new video.